Hello again everyone and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host Ken Keith. I want to welcome uh, everyone watching, the local user group folks, and those of you who may be so kind to have joined us on Vimeo or YouTube. You know, we've talked about montages and we've done some of that. Uh, one of the recent tutorials was about uh, realistic shadows for montage. Now we're going to talk about m actually montaging pictures in, in which we fade one photo gradually into another. So let's get right to that. Okay, so in full photo edit I've opened up two different images. Uh, this one that's on the screen now uh, is the uh, is going to be the background image and the first thing we're going to do is add some canvas size to this. You know, a lot of times we'll add canvas size to make something of a frame um, or, or a mat effect, but in this case we're just going to add some extension out here on the uh, right side. A couple ways to do that, but the simple way is just take your your crop tool, drag it out, uh, it covers the entire image, and get the, uh, the middle handle here, and drag it a little further out. Have your uh, background set to white, and click OK. And now we have this little blank white area out here. And I'm going to now uh, open my second image. I'm going to hold the shift key. You don't have to, but you can hold the shift key as you drag in. And that just kind of centers it in there. Now with the um, move tool then, I'm going to drag this second image uh, a little bit further now. Uh, to the right, and I'm just going to press V, and that gets the move tool, or you can just come up here. I'll bring it over, and I'm going to blend these in uh, at about uh, this point. You can see the overlap here. This image is a little bit different size, so I'm going to take my, my other handles and bring it out just a bit and click OK. And now we're going to uh, go back to the background level, uh, layer, click on it, and go to your uh, Create an Adjustment layer, click on it, and then select Levels Adjustment. And what we're going to do, we're not actually going to do a Levels Adjustment at this time, but what we're looking for is this mask. So now uh, we're going to create a clipping group to uh, put these two layers together. And we've talked about clipping groups before, and you may want to review that. But just simply uh, click on your top layer, hold down your control key, and the letter G. And now you have a clipping group here. So after we've, we've done that, we're going to... Uh, make sure our foreground color over here is set to black. And we're going to click right on this mask in the adjustment layer. And instead of making a levels adjustment, we're going to go grab our gradient tool and select the one that's the third one in, which is black to white. And now you can see right here. Um, the, where the images are, are overlapping and I'm just going to take this gradient tool and and draw out a selection here and you see how nicely that has blended these two images in. If we like you can go and highlight this area. Once again V or your move tool if you wanted to give this a little bit of a difference now you will start picking up a hard edge that you don't want right in here if if you uh, move too far because you're taking it away from uh, the area that has the gradient but I can move it in just a little bit closer if I like and now you have a, a nicely blended montage two heads if you wanted to add a third you could you could do the same thing, add an extension, 
and put one over here on the left side too. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't already done so, you can click on this top layer and go to Enhance Lighting and Levels if you felt like you needed to make some adjustments in, in lighting or color and click OK. However, you cannot really mess much with the opacity of this layer uh, because you're certain you'll see the demarcation uh, point uh, with, it, with this layer and the background layer. Uh, have a lot of fun with this. Uh, use your creativity as always. Enjoy this technique and we'll talk again. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.